So have you ever done yoga before? Hell no. So this is the downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Uh, oh. So usually in like a yoga class, you'll always come back to this oh. pose. So how long we do this for, huh? This one's called Cobra. So like thighs on the mat? Yeah, like and put your feet, like po point your feet out like that. Okay. And open, like your put your shoulders chest. back. Yeah. Oh. Fudge and a half. Uh, All right, and then you can put your feet under like that and go back in the tongue and face the Oh! Get your ass over here. Let's try this out. All right, go ahead and get into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <laughs> this is my favorite position. <laughs> You want me to balance? <laughs> Have you seen the, the weight distribution on my Just body right now? Try it. It helps, like, the higher you get, the better, the easier it is. Got it. All right, and then bring your hands up and meet in the middle and bring them to the center. I'm going to do it like this. There's not a lot of balance here. How are we going? Alright, hold on. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Alright, here we go. Are we going to do like this? It helps if you like start here and like focus on something while you're getting there. Okay. So like, and keep your hands at center. Okay. And slowly go up and if you need to, you can pop it I think up. I'm, I think this is about as good as I can get it. That's good. Okay. Now what? Take a couple breaths here. Yoga with us? You watching me fall? Yeah. Focus here, chat. There we go. Focus here. Okay. Go. Arms up. Yep, there you go. Arms up and look up. Okay. Alright, and then do a swan dive forward, which is where you both your feet are down. Okay. And you just bend forward like this all the way down. So put the booty out? Yep. And then put your hands down. Got yep. it. Touch the ground. Uh, this about as far as I can get. <laughs> Again, that whole distribution thing. All right. And you can go into downward facing dog from here. Oh, I do like this. Yep. <laughs> All right. So how many women have passed gas doing this? I here? hear it happens a lot. It's never been a part of you? I've never. <laughs> it's usually the old people. Well, it's usually the old people, okay. <laughs> Have you ever done happy baby pose? Absolutely, you know, every other day. <laughs> Show me what to do. So you lay on your back. Got it. <laughs> and then you rock back and forth. <laughs> Got it. I feel like I'm gonna like lay a turn or something. <laughs> this is what it came down to, everybody. Oh my gosh, and that's happy. This is the happy baby pose. <laughs> I'm rocking. It feels like seriously like I'm about to give birth. Is this what <laughs> giving birth feels like? I don't know, man. I had an epidural. I didn't feel a thing. 
I'm sweating my ass off. Right now. What would be your advice for someone that doesn't know what they're doing? Like, how would they start yoga? Um, I don't know. I would say maybe start by YouTubing some videos and just trying the basics at home before you go to a class. Um, the good thing about class, though, is that there's someone there who can kind of guide you and and show you um, what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Right. But if you're worried about like being around a bunch of people and you just want to try it first, then I would say do that. Just try it first at home in the comfort of your own home, and you know, no one's there to judge you or anything. Now, let me ask this: Is yoga more of a spiritual thing, or is it more of a relaxation or more of is it really like a truly a fitness goal I you think see a lot of like fitness people do yoga yeah like, is there benefits for, like I'd say it it's uh, it depends on your intention yeah. so it can be any of those things um, for some people it definitely is um, a spiritual thing and um, for others, it's strictly for fitness. It yep. just depends on what you... And some people start it just for the fitness reason, and then they end up finding like the spiritual side. Yoga is more of a lifestyle change. So, does the, is there any particular diet that you would probably need if you're going to be doing yoga? It seems like you have to be flexible and like... And it comes with like nutrition, right? Because nutrition helps the body like move a certain way and like yeah. you can't be like a junk junk food addict and, and try to do yoga because I, I have a feeling it's not going to work out well. Right. I think that it's like anything once you get into it and you start hanging around the same people that go to classes like, like yoga classes and stuff, you start to care more about your health and wellness. That's why I like yoga. It's a little bit more about wellness rather than aesthetics. It just kind of naturally comes with the territory. Um, a lot of yogis are yogis? vegan. Vegan? Yeah. Why, why are they vegan? Um, it's a, again, like part of the spiritual thing. You want to do better for your body. And right. So the better you eat. Okay. Is there anybody that you watched on YouTube that you would recommend someone else to watch? Um, you know, I love the, just the Lululemon YouTube. Um, they post full-on practices, like hour-long practices, with like some of the best teachers in the country. So I go there usually if I want to do a class at home. Otherwise, I will go to a class because um, our community here in Arizona is really awesome and we have some really great teachers here.